the True Jihad, Part 12 of 14, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on October 4, 2021. Master, if Master is supposed to be unconditional, uh -huh. and God is supposed to be unconditional and forgiving, uh -huh. why do you demand people to be vegan and repentant in order to save them? Uh -huh. I don't demand. I just point the way, okay? It's like if you want to go to the south, I would say that way, yeah? You go through this section, you go to that junction and then you will see the highway it points to the south where with the south it may be you go from new york to california where you were so you have to go this way huh yes yes first you pass through this and then you pass through that and then turn left and then you will see the sign california then you just go there so it's not a demand it's an instruction it's understand it's not really an instruction it's like i'm just pointing the way what for I demand you or anybody to eat vegan? What's in it for me? Nothing. Yes. Maybe compassion for the animals and the consequence for humans, of course. But even if I don't have any compassion for you or anybody, or I don't feel sorry for the animals, even then, that is the way. Regardless of my emotion, my position, that is the way to go south. Yes. I don't have to like you. You are a stranger. You ask me the way to California. I point you that way. First, you have to go through that way, okay? And then if you don't have petrol, then you must fill your tank. <laughs> that's not a demand for my part. It's for you. Yes, that's right. To go there. Yes. Everything in this physical world has an arrangement that you must follow in order to get it. Even your computer. If you want to know the information on the internet, you have to have a computer. It's not a demand for anybody who told you that. It's for you. Yes, yes. Uh, it's the way it is. Yes, that's what I understand. Everything in this physical world has some so-called condition. It's not the condition for master. The master is always unconditional. God is unconditional yeah. and forgiving too. Even if God forgives you everything, you still need to go to hell because you, you're going that way. Yes. Okay. You are attracting the energy of hell to you. Understand now? Understand. Mm -hmm. So even God forgives you, you still go to hell. If you eat meat or if you kill animals or oh, wow. attack in the murder. And, and even if you just pay taxes and the government uses it, you know, to uh, subsidize the animal industry or to kill the babies in abortion, then you still need to pay that. Oh, wow. Maybe a little less than the ones who organize it or create the law but still you must pay more or less it depends yes all masters are unconditional god is unconditional but that is the road that leads to hell so you have to you turn that's all yes suppose you want to go to california and you don't know the way and suppose i'm going that way yeah i'm supposed to show you how to go there and you just follow me yes yes so the first condition I ask you is that you turn and follow me. Yes, yes. That's not a condition. It's just a process. Yes, I understand. Killing, eating animals, murdering animals to eat and all that is the way to go direct to hell. That's the road to hell. Yes. That's the universal arrangement. Yes, I understand. Yeah, killing is a great sin and you have to pay for it. Yes. If you go to the bank, you don't have money in the bank, but you force the teller to give you money, will he? No, he won't. No. So the condition is a natural thing, that you have to first have some deposit in the bank in order to get your money. And if you want to borrow the money, then you still have to pay back, because it's not your money. Yes, yes. You might get a loan, but you have to pay. Just the same, if you kill the animals or you kill babies, kill anything at all. You have to pay. Yes, Mister. So all the masters are unconditional. That's why they don't take bribes. I don't take donations. Yes, Mister. 
Yes. I even give. I even work hard, do some business so that I can give because I know some people have hardship. Some animals, organizations need our support and need our encouragement. Some poor people sometimes in disasters need our immediate help if we can. So that's very unconditional already. Yes, yes. Our Supreme Master Television, I pay for it. Yes, I understand. And without any condition. That's the right. Master, all are unconditional. It just, you go the wrong way. If you need a taxi to even take you to Paris from your hotel nearby, you have to jump in the taxi first. Yes, that's right. Or if somebody even wants to guide you to some special place that you want to go, then you have to follow him by your car. Or go in his car. Or go by taxi. That's not the condition. That's right. It's the fair thing. I mean, it's the thing you have to do. Yes, that's just the natural process of things. Yeah, just like if you want to win a lotto, you have to buy a lotto ticket, no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, huh? Yes, yes. Okay, that's it. If you want to learn to drive a car, then you must have a car to practice with. Yes. It's not a condition. Yes, I understand. It's not by the law forces you to do it. It's not a law, it's not a condition. It is the right way to do. Yes. So, eating animals or torturing animals in the laboratory or anywhere or killing babies in the womb, all this are the road to hell. Yes. In the universe, it's arranged that way. Just like the highway in our world may lead you to the south or to the north, to west, east. It depends on where you want to go. That's right. If you drive south, you cannot expect to arrive in the north area somewhere. Yes, I understand. There are things like that, natural things. Like the mango will give you mango, the apple will give you apple. So it's not like the master have conditions for you or anybody. It's the way you should do. Yes. It's like you're hungry, find food to eat. And the food is there, then you must eat it. If I eat it for you, I I am for you or not. That's right. So if you don't follow the natural arrangement of the universe, you go the wrong way. Nobody can help you. Even God. I understand now. Yeah. Okay. So even some people, when they die and they go to hell, and if they repent clearly, truthfully, if they even could repent or pray, then at that time, they almost like you turn. Yes. Because they see things, they're truly repentant, because they can see things clearly without the body. They repent, then I can even help them. Yes. But very difficult for them to repent or to think, because it's too painful, continuously. I see. Here, in this world, when you're in too much pain, you can't even think of anything. You cannot even think of food. If you have too much of a headache or anything painful like that, Yes, Master. Not to talk about in hell. The pain is 10,000 trillion more. <sighs> because you don't have a body. Everything is raw and naked. Yes. In this world, you even have uh, some clothes, even however minimal, to cover you from the cold and from the heat. Over there, nothing. <sighs> you just feel the pain raw. Wow. Intensified, magnified, 10,000, 100,000 times, a million times more. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that's why I urgently urge everybody to eat vegan, not so that I can be fat or healthy. It's for them, not to talk about health benefits. It is for them to rescue themselves, to give me an excuse. Yes, Master. But they have to be vegan and sincere because that's the way. It's the right way to go. Yes. Just like if you want to go south, just go on the highway that points south. That's all there is, okay? Yes. Very simple. There are ways to go to heaven. There are ways to go to hell. There are ways to go back to the human's world. There are ways to go to animals' world. Yes. Your choice will affect your future. Yes, Master. And affect the present even. Because you eat meat, you get sick. That's an immediate karma. And the future karma is hell. Worse than sickness. Yes. In this world, if you're sick nowadays, you still have doctors and nurses and medicine and things to help you. Yes. Or operate under anesthesia, you don't feel pain. In hell, no anesthesia. <sighs> pain, pain and pain and raw and hundred, ten thousand times or million times. Gosh. Yes. And you can't escape. You can't run anywhere. In the world, maybe you could hide. You could run and nobody, no police could catch you even if you do some 
criminal thing you can hide. Not complete, 100%, maybe. But they might find you one day, but at least you have a chance to hide. Yes. In hell, nowhere to go. You can't even move. You don't have any willpower anymore. You can't even pray. Yes, Master. Yeah. In the lower, maybe lighter hell, maybe you can remember. You say, for God's sake, help me or something, yeah? Yes. And if somebody in the world prays for you also, uh -huh. that connects together, then you may be helped. Uh, yes. But in the harder hell where you're tortured continuously, you cannot even think. All you do is just scream and nobody hears you. Oh, oh God. <sighs> you see why I'm working so hard? Yes, Master. I don't have to. I'm free. But in a way, I'm still imprisoned because of my love for all beings. Yes. I'm a free person, but I'm the most confined being on this planet. Yes, I understand. I'm the most free, but the most confined. For example, even now, I do retreat. For whom? Huh? For the world. I don't even need it. Yes. I could go out freely, you know, outside of my house, outside of my gate, at least walk around in a bigger area. I'm confined in two by three or two by four. Who cares? <laughs> Not much difference. Yes. And I don't go out anywhere. Yes, Master. Not outside of the gate, outside of the door, of course. Something like that. Or feed the butterflies <laughs> <laughs> in the garden, feed the birds. Yes, yes. And give uh, the frogs some water, stuff like that. Whoever it is in the garden, yeah? Yes. That's all. But I take pleasure. Thank God they are there. So I have a little simple pleasure like that. Taking their photograph, giving them water, giving them something to eat, fruits. Because I don't have flowers in the little garden, so I put fruit on the tree for them. It's like flowers, you know, colorful? Yes, yes. Watermelon, <laughs> or whatever I have. I cut them into smaller pieces and I stick it on the tree, little twig or branches. Just like when you put something for barbecue. Uh, like a skewer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a skewer. They have some dry ticks and uh, stick it out. Yes, yes. So I just put them on there. Yes, I understand. They're all fine because the butterflies, they're light. They don't bend down. Yes. And they keep changing, fresh. But I discover sometimes that they prefer the older one. They don't take the fresh one immediately. They continue with the older one. I visit the same one. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so I don't dare to take them away anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. I put the fresh one next to the old one. They go to the old one. Ah. Uh. And I put the old one on the floor under the tree so that it becomes like fertilizer for the tree because old, they go down to the... Wow, that's interesting. The tree floor next to the roots to eat it. Sometimes I feel, my God, it's so rotten. Better not eat it. No, they go there. Wow. Mm. So I just let it be naturally. Maybe they're economical. They don't dare to waste food. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> somebody teaches them. Food is precious, precious. nowadays. Yes. Yeah. Or they appreciate it. Or maybe it's good for them in some way. Yes, Master. Everyone has a different makeup. Like something for us is not pleasant for dogs. Yes, that's right. They like to walk and roll on the grass, roll on the dirt and all that. They feel good. Yes. Or the pigs, they roll in the mud and all that. Or the elephants, they put mud on their bodies. Yes. They feel cool and it's also disinfecting for them. Like anti-insect for them, protects them. Yes, insect repellent. Yeah, yeah, maybe special natural protector from insects, yeah. But we don't want that. Yes. We think, oh, yeah, you're going to the mud like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but they like it, so why not? Huh? Yes, Master. Same with the butterfly and the other insects, you know, if they like it older ones, then I let them. Who am I to tell them what to do? I just offer and they choose. Yes, yes. The same in the world, people should not uh, like Monday things and dictate things. Yes. Before one of your sisters asked me a long time ago that the vaccine has animals in it. Yes. And so what would you advise masters? Should we take the vaccine or not? I say it's up to you. Even then. Yes, Master. I won't cite the word vegan to stop them. Yes. They are adults, men. Yes, yes. I teach them what's right from wrong. But I trust that they should grow themselves. They should walk the way. I don't have to carry them all the time. 
Yes, Master. And especially when it comes to ethical reasons, I will not stop people. I will not force them. I will not use my master position to tell people do this, do that, just because I want to protect myself from their infection. Understand. Yeah, like that. Everybody is grown up already. Yes, yes. <laughs> 